Hi everyone, welcome to today's math class. Look at this challenge we have in here now. The question is x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 equal to 150. What is the value of x here? Here, we want to take a step by step guide on how to solve this challenge without missing out any of the steps. So sit back as we go into today's challenge. So we take our solution here as usual. So we have a solution. All right. Now, look at the left-hand side of the equation and the right-hand side. I want to move the quantity on the right-hand side to the left-hand side. And so this is going to give us error. x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 minus 150. This is equal to 0. Now, we want to split 150 according to this power and this power here. In other words, we need a perfect square and a perfect cube from here. So in that line, this will be written as x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 minus here, our 25 for this, and minus 125 for this. This is equal to 0. So we want to marry this with this, marry this with this. But before that, let's express that in these powers. So this is going to give us our s to the power of 2 minus s to the power of 3 minus this is written as 5 to the power of 2 minus this is written as 5 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. So let's marry them according to their powers. So we move this to join this, this to join this frame. So this is going to give us s to the power of 2 minus you know, 5 to the power of 2 then minus yeah, we're going to take this one first, so our x to the power of 3, then this minus our 5 to the power of 3, this is equal to 0. So we can group these terms now. So grouping them, this is going to give us x to the power of 2 minus 5 to the power of 2, those bracket minus. Because we're introducing a bracket here, then minus times minus will give us plus. So we're going to have the x to the power of 3 there plus. 5 to the power of 3, then yeah, equal to 0. Now, if you look at the terms inside the bracket, we can apply what we call difference of 2 square, and here we can apply what we call sum of 2 cubes. All right, so if we recall, we know that if you have your a to the power of 2 minus your b to the power of 2, this is equal to your a yeah, plus b, close bracket, bracket open, yeah, a minus b close bracket. This is what we call difference of two square. So what we have in here is similar to this. Then we look at the second theorem, which is this sum of two cubes. And it says that if you have your a to the power of 3, then plus your b to the power of 3, this is equal to bracket tipping. Your a plus your b close bracket, bracket open, your a to the power of 2, then minus your a, b plus your b to the power of 2. This is what we call sum of two cubes. So we're going to apply these two theory here. So we're going to rewrite this and rewrite this in this format here. So the first one is going to give us here, I would say this now implies that our Bracket open x plus our 5 plus bracket, bracket our x minus 5 plus bracket. Then let's bring our minus sign here, minus bracket. Then we're going to have this to be x plus our 5 bracket, bracket our x here to the power of 2. Then minus 5 x plus 5 to the power of 2. Yeah. Close bracket, everything equal to zero. All right. Now, what we do next here now, we just try to look out for some terms that are common to this expression here and this expression here. I believe we have a term that is common. X plus five is here. We're having X plus five. So let's factor that out. If we factor that out, this is going to give us our X plus five bracket, bracket. Here we're going to use the square bracket. When we use this to divide this, we are left with this. So we have bracket x minus 5 plus bracket, then minus, then bracket 
This, we use this to divide this, this will be out. There we are left with this. I get our x to the power of 2 minus 5x there plus this will give us 25. Close bracket, this is equal to 0. We can use this minus to open this and open everything here. So this is going to give us bracket x plus our 5 close bracket bracket x minus 5 then yeah minus this time this will give us minus s to the power of 2 minus times minus will give us plus 5 x then minus times plus will give us minus 25 close bracket equal to 0. So let's continue on this side and see what this gives us in 10. All right. Now let's check carefully here now. We have x here. We have 5x here. There here we have minus x to the power of 2. We don't have x to the power of 2 again. Then we have minus 5 here. We have minus 10, uh, 25. So we can rearrange this. So this is going to give us our x plus 5 close bracket, bracket. So let's pick this first. We have minus x to the power of 2. Okay. Then we go to our x term. So we have here plus x. The plus 5x is going to give us plus uh, 6x. All right. Then we have here minus, uh, well, next time here we have minus 5, minus 25 will give us minus 30, whose bracket is equal to 0. All right. So what we do here now, we apply what we call the zero product rule, whereby we equate this to 0, we equate this to 0 also. So doing that, is going to give us our case one. So what is our case one? We're going to have our x plus 5 equal to 0. So x is equal to minus 5. That is the value of our x1. Satisfy this expression we have in here. Minus 5. All right. Then let's go again. Here, we now look at the case 2, which is case 2. Our case 2, we have this term here. So we're going to have minus x to the power of 2 plus 6x minus 30 equal to 0. Because of the presence of this minus here, we just have to eliminate it. And how do we do that? We multiply the whole of this equation by minus 1. Okay? So if we do that, this we turn to plus. So this is going to give us x to the power of 2, then minus our 6x, then plus our 30 and, sorry, just 30 equal to 0. Easy. Then, this is a quadratic equation. We just have to solve this quadratically. And how do we solve this? We want to use the formula method. So from here, using formula, using the formula method, we're going to have our x will now be equal to minus b plus Minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac, everything all over 2a. What is our a? a is the coefficient here, which is 1, and b is minus 6, and c is what? Our c is positive 30. We have this to be 30. So we can substitute. So this is going to give us our x will now be equal to. Here we have minus, what is our b? b is minus, so we have here minus 6, plus, my, plus bracket there, plus minus the square root of our minus 6 all raised to the power of 2, then times minus our 4 times 1 times 30. All right, everything all over 2 times 1. So this is equal to minus times minus will give us plus, so here we have here plus, minus, plus, minus here, then into the square root. This minus 6 to the power of 2 will give us 30. Then minus, here we have 120. Everything all over 2. So let's continue on this side and see what this gives us. All right, all right. All right, so if we carry out the subtraction here, this will give us minus 8, 4. So we're going to have this to be our x will now be equal to our 6 plus minus the square root 
of our minus 84. Everything all over 2 because you, we have our 2 times 1. Now, we can split 84 into 4 times 21 times minus 1. Okay? So, because of this minus here. So, we can rewrite this to give us here 6 plus minus the square root of, uh, let's just press it up. So, we're going to have here our 21 times our 4 times minus 1 all over 2. Remember that the square root of minus 1 is equal to iota. So if we consider this, then we can bring this, uh, bring out iota from here. Here is a perfect square, which is going to give us 2. So we end up having our 6 plus minus our 2 into the square root of 21 iota. Everything all over 2. Because we are having two now the denominator and two can divide what we have here. So let's factor out two from here. So this is going to give us here our two into two into six will give us three plus minus two into two will give us one. So we have here square root of 21 iota, the close bracket, all over two. This, this will leave. So we have two solutions from here because here we have plus minus. So Therefore, we have our x2 because we calculated for our x1 already. So we have therefore our x2 will now be equal to our 3 plus the square root of 21 iota, where x3 is equal to 3 minus the square root of 21 iota. So these are the three roots. Okay? that satisfy this challenge. So we have our x1, which is minus 5, x2, imaginary, x3, imaginary. All right. So if you plug that into this, we will satisfy the original equation. So this brings us to the end of this math class. Thank you for watching online math TV content. We love you. We love you. And until we come your way again, keep winning. And remember, Jigs does love you. Bye. Happy now.